Hey guys, it's Dima from Dimus Tech, and today we are going to root the Nexus 6P. Please note that the following will erase everything from your phone, will factor reset at all like you just bought it, and it will probably void your warranty. So first thing that we need to do is enable the developer options. Uh, now I already have it uh, enabled, but if you don't, you need to go to About Phone, to the end, to the build number, and press just seven times. So as you can see, it's already on developer, so I don't need to do it. But after pressing it about seven times or a few times, you will uh, be able to use the developer options. Now you go to developer options, and you must use the OEM unlocking enabled. You will be provided with your pin code obviously, so I'm sorry but for a second. Now this won't be required if you don't have a pin code. So now we have our uh, OEM uh, option enabled and we basically don't need uh, this particular Android system anymore. What we need to do now is go to our fastboot. For that we'll just power off the device, wait for it to power off, when it's done you need to press and hold the volume down key and the power button together. Now this will uh, enable the bootloader. From now on we can go ahead to our computer. So now that we are on our computer and after we downloaded all the required files, which I'll give uh, some links in the description of this video, now obviously we will need uh, the Android SDK to be installed uh, and to navigate to our place where it uh, is installed with our ADB and Facebook tools. So I already did that, I'm not going to go just through that. I'll give some links that will describe in the description how to do that. Anyway, uh, what we need to do now, and again before I do that, I'll remind you that the following process will probably void your warranty and it will erase anything that is on your phone, anything, including music, photos, apps, whatever you can think of, it will be just like you just bought it from the store. So anyway, what we are going to do is fast boot. First of all, let's do fast boot devices, which will show our device that is connected. Now, obviously, if I didn't mention, uh, you need your uh, cable to be plugged uh, from your computer to your phone. Obviously, with uh, the ADB tools, you'll have uh, the Google drivers installed, so everything should be fine. Uh, and now we can go ahead and do the real thing, which is fastboot flashing unlock. And now, if you go to your phone, you will see that you'll see that it shows a new screen, which says unlock bootloader. If you unlock the bootloader, you will be able to install custom operating system software on this phone. A custom OS is not subject to the same testing as the original OS and can cause blah 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 blah. Anyway, in order to unlock, to hit yes, what you need to do is basically press, if I remember correctly, yeah, you can see it here. Press the volume up down button select yes or no, then press the power button to continue. So it's already on yes, we're going to press the power button, which will again erase everything and void our warranty. Let's go ahead and do that. And that's it. Basically, it will do its thing. Uh, and now you can see that uh, it's here. What we should do next is reboot bootloader in order it to load everything uh, with the loaded bootloader and from now on our bootloader is unlocked. So uh, now what I'll do is actually start the phone as it is, restore everything I had on the phone just so it will be more comfortable to work with and then we will continue to the root process itself. So now after I have restored everything to my phone what I'm going to do on the computer is reboot again to the bootloader sorry ADB reboot bootloader and 
And now what I'm going to do is again, let's first check that the device is readable. Again, it's first boot devices. And as you can see, it is readable. What I'm going to do now is actually fast boot, flash, boot, and the boot that uh, we need to to the root and hit enter. You see, there's nothing into it. Now we are going to again reboot the bootloader. So it's fast boot, reboot, bootloader. Great. And now I'm going to do something that all the other guides to the routine of an Nexus XP don't show you. Really, this is going to be something that nobody shows you. Basically, what everyone shows you is uh, that you need in this step, uh, go ahead and flash a custom recovery, for example, TWRP, in order to flash uh, afterwards the super SU, which will uh, give you the root access. What I'm going to do is not actually flash it, which will uh, actually uh, make it impossible to receive future uh, updates for Android, but I'm going to boot into that without flashing it, which will still allow us to install the root, but we will be able to update later. Now, when uh, you will update later, probably it will uh, remove the root access, probably it will uh, revoke it but at least you'll be able to update your device whenever you want without any issues. So uh, you can do it all the time on Nexus devices, you can just boot into a custom recovery without flashing it. So what I'm going to do is something like this. Fast boot. Uh, <coughs> boot. Now the others will show you here flash recovery and then the file. What I'm going to do is fast boot boot and then uh, drag the recovery. Enter. So now that we are booted into the TWRP, we're going to click install. Uh, now you supposed to already have uh, your SuperSU uh, file, the installation file on your uh, SD card, on your storage of the device. Again, it's not an SD card, sorry, it's uh, your internal storage. You choose that, and basically uh, you just go ahead, swipe here to flash it. And that's uh, basically it. Now, you can do white cache and Dalvik, it will uh, just, uh, you know, erase some cache, nothing else. And you can go to back to your home screen, basically, reboot, and reboot system. In case uh, TWRP will ask you before the reboot uh, to install a super SU by itself, that your phone is not rooted, do not do that. Again, do not do that. It will install the regular uh, root, not the system re systemless root. Now we're going to uh, boot our device and hopefully if everything goes fine, we should have our root access. Okay, so now that our device is booted, I already uh, went ahead and installed from the Play Store an application called Root Checker. Uh, there's nothing that it does except checking uh, if your phone is rooted. Uh, it should uh, support the systemless root and should show us that we are rooted. So let's go ahead, click verify. You can see that it's working. It might take a while. Now again, the phone just uh, booted. So, uh, you know, it might work a little bit slower uh, while it's still booting. But uh, we should see in a moment that our phone is actually rooted. Okay, here it is. It asks us to grant it root access. And that's it. Congratulations. Root access to properly installed on the device. So that's it. Our phone is rooted from now on. And we can uh, do other cool stuff, for example use exposed and uh, you know install other cool uh, rooted stuff now i want to go ahead just for a second and launch android pay now i'm not in the us so i cannot use uh, android pay but let's see if it's just launching or not at all 
Yeah, it actually uh, launches. So that's it. We are uh, absolutely rooted and Android Pay is available. So that's it. Now our Nexus 6P is rooted. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you did, like this video if you liked it. Dislike if you didn't. Don't forget to subscribe and when you do, don't forget to mark the V to receive future video updates. See you in the next one.